you know, I've done a lot of shows in the year and a half that we've been on here. You and I have been friends, and you know how much I love Kiss, and you know how much I love you as a friend. So thank you for coming on to my show, Paul Stanley. Seriously, very emotional for me, man, because that band is... I gotta tell you, the George you see here is the real George. That's what makes George so special, man. You are the real deal. There's a lot of people on the air who are kind of showbiz. This is what you see is what you get. You're the same when you come over to my house. That's why you get such thank a great you, audience. Thank you. Now, thank you. Now, here's what I love. You were at my house, and you said, I'm going to be in Europe in the summer. And I said, so am I. And then you allowed me to go on the plane with you guys and stay in the same hotels and crazy. go to shows. Yes. It was crazy. We go over to Europe, and George over there is kind of like incognito because people didn't really know who he was. And I'm saying, this guy is like the Latino Elvis. <laughs> yeah. This guy sells more tickets. I mean, this is the real deal. And he goes, who is he? And I said, you're going to find out. People in England now, they're talking about you. Man, you're becoming the worldwide phenomenon. Thank you, man. Thank you. Right. Now, it's funny because when, when we were in Milan, you broke the guitar. I always wanted the guitar, so you gave it to me. And I took it home in your case. And when it went through the x-ray machine, the guy said, hey, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the guitar's broken. It's, right? We broke your guitar. I said, no, man, Paul Stanley broke the guitar. That's I my sacrificed souvenir. it. I sacrificed that guitar <laughs> for you. Now, every celebrity, and there's been a lot of them that have been KISS fans, Lady Gaga just, I think she, how far did she travel to see you guys? She came cross country on her last tour and showed up at the show, wound up in the audience with just a little bit of tape covering some, some, uh, <laughs> little little bits and um, little panties, and she was wearing my Kiss boots, and she was out in the audience rocking. She is the real deal in a whole world full of a lot of you know prefabricated people doing things that are similar. Gaga's the real deal. Yeah, cool. Everybody loves her. Here's a picture of Kiss and Gaga. Look at that. There she is. Yeah, man. That's that's hot. And how did she, she had those boots made? Your boots? No, those are my boots. Oh, those, she, those are big boots to fill, you know? <laughs> those are the but, biggest boots to fill. Well, she had little feet, but uh, she stuffed them. That's all she stuffed. <laughs> and, and she came out there, man, and she just rocked the whole show. So yeah. we, we had a gas. She's, she's really something else. Yeah, she, she is. She, she's doing her thing, man. And you know, it's interesting because she calls her fans monsters. When you first started, your idea for Kiss was you guys were going to be monsters, rock monsters. We wanted to be the band we never saw. When you people are paying to see a show, you should see a show. If you go to the grocery store and you, you wind up with an empty bag and you paid hard-earned money, you got screwed. If you go to a show and there's somebody sitting on a carpet with a stool and singing about how miserable life is and taking your money, you're getting screwed. <laughs> when we play, you get blinded, you get pummeled, you get deafened. That's what entertainment's all about. You know what you're gonna get when you come see That's us. That's rock and roll. That's rock and roll. Now, you are an accomplished painter. You, you sell millions of dollars of your art every year. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I started painting because I needed like a release from all the pressure of being on tour, so I started painting. Never had any idea I would ever show anybody the work. Started painting and uh, did a gallery show, and you know, here we are in, in seven figures, multiple seven figures. I'll never be a starving artist, but I'm doing something that I love doing, and it connects with people. I always feel that if you do something you love, it'll connect with people. You always go astray mm -hmm. if you try to second guess what other people want. I do what I love, maybe that's why you love it, okay. so. I, 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 yes, here's, here's a picture of some of Paul Stanley's work, beautiful work. Now, now here, you and I did a painting together we painted together, Paul and I, and we're gonna auction this painting off for the tornado victims in the South, okay? So here's a picture of, of you and I. Let's take a look at the painting. Bobby's gonna bring it out. This is the finished painting. This is the painting that, that Paul and I did. It is signed. You can go to lopeztonight.com to bid on this painting. It's an original Paul Stanley. No, it's original George, and George Lopez. Lopez. Come on. 100% of the proceeds will go to the American Red Cross to benefit the victims of the tornadoes in the South and in the Midwest. Paul Stanley. Even if, you don't love, even if you don't love the painting, you gotta give money back. You know, for all the stuff that we have been fortunate enough to get, you gotta give back to the people who need it. So whether it's this painting or just reaching into your pocket, give to the people who need. We're all blessed. Yeah, we're all blessed. And you said, help those in need.